Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah! Yeah! All right, man, we can hear you, dude. You guys are live right now on the Zach Moon fucking Shine show on Metal Devastation oh, Radio. We can say fuck! We can say fuck! Right. <laughs> Usually when we're on like TV or radio, they don't let us say fuck, so... No, no, this is Metal Devastation Radio, man, so uh, you can say fuck all you want, dude. This is awesome! Awesome! We're getting this, we're getting this delay. Like, delay here. It's like we're in a cave. Oh, are you guys listening to the, uh, to the radio stream, too? Sitting here. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should. <laughs> so, so what the fuck is going on in the world of Lobotomobile, man? What What are you guys fucking doing, man? What are you guys smoking, dude? Fucking, you guys are smoking some good shit, man. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> no, we we um we are smoking inspiration and crack. Crackspiration. Crackspiration. Yeah, we have a, a new album coming out on the 15th, Pretty Little Innards. Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, yeah, we're, we're just kind of wrapping up practice right now, so... Uh... Yeah, you still there? Yeah, dude, I'm just... I'm, I'm listening, man. Oh, okay, I couldn't tell. My, my phone went black screen, so I was like, you know... <laughs> yeah. We're all like we're all like cl- like clustered on the floors, like slumber party style, to like yeah. get this <laughs> proper. So so you guys just did a fucking rehearsal. We yep. we fucking did, man, and we we smoked crack and, <laughs> and it was great. I don't know. I don't know. Fucking a man. So yeah. so tell us about this fucking band. Like, how did you guys get started? And and uh, I mean, how did how did Lobotomobile start? Well, um, we started. It's a long story. <laughs> but to, to make the story slightly less long, um, Matt why and do I, they say long story, Sarge? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Matt and I met about six years ago, and we started a two piece called Bloody Bunny. And uh, we stopped playing for a little while because we needed the bottom, so to speak. David and is our bottom. David's our bottom. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, when David walked into where I was working at the time, and I'm like, hey, David, you want to be in the band? And he's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we changed the name very to the automobile. Very Very, very professional. <laughs> How did you guys come up with the name Lobotomobile? Like, what the fuck does that mean? It's a historical reference. It's very enlightened. Um, <laughs> Walter Freeman, back in the day, invented the post-orbital economy, and uh, supposedly, so legend says, he toured around the country, did like 30,000 lobotomies in like town squares, at fairgrounds, and things like that, um, and he called his truck that he toured around in the lobotomobile. Nice. Yep, so. these are band historians. So. Yes. I don't know why I'm imagining in, in my head like the fucking Ghostbusters fucking car that they fucking drove around. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I just want some ecto cooler now. Really. I see you, man. Yeah. They still make that. They yeah. Call. You still make it? Yeah, You've I made make it, it the in entire my backyard. Time. In my back, yeah. Except it's got to be painted in black. Of course. <laughs> black ecto cooler. Really badass. <laughs> <laughs> I would drink the shit out of that. Fuck yeah. Uh, I totally would. Oh. So uh, tell us about your influences. Like what kind of stuff influences you guys besides smoking crack to uh, make <laughs> make this make this insane fucking music, man? You, you really need anything else. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, um, I would say uh, <coughs> weird things from history, uh, horror movies. Broadway. Uh, Broadway. I, South I'm, Park. South Park. <laughs> yep. Um, I, I, I started playing guitar many years ago, weirdly enough, because of Stephen Lynch. I originally wanted to be a comedian, <laughs> songwriter, um, which is why there's always a touch of humor, usually, in the automobile. What, yeah. What we, kind we, 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 we kind of all do lots of different shit, and it kind of all gets rolled in. There's a lot of video games, a lot of horror movies. Um... And musically, we kind of borrow from everywhere. We definitely have a harder-edged sound, and uh, sometimes it's kind of Riot Girl, sometimes it's kind of 
under the metal umbrella, shall Sometimes we say. Sometimes it's like a rockabilly or psychobilly. Matt and I are music sluts, so, like, we <laughs> really like all kinds of shit, so... And I'm a frustrated theater person, so I'm trying to get Broadway car off the ground. Mm. <laughs> nice. So, what, 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 kind, what kind of uh, horror movies and fucking video games you guys into? Oh, man, that's... Shit. <laughs> it's like the bottomless question, man. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I like all kinds of stuff. I, I like pushing my limits with things that are considered to be really fucked up. Um, like, I didn't mind a Serbian film. I thought that was fine. <laughs> um, but I really like a lot of old school stuff, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and stuff, obviously. And video games, I love, like, the Silent Hill series and Fatal Frame and Doom 3, that kind of shit. Hell yeah. What about you guys? Matt and David. Oh, well, I mean, like, uh... I like all, I don't know like all horror <laughs> movies I like stuff that really that pushes a, I don't say a boundary per se but I like um, stuff that is innovative um, you know people, things that people take and do something that hasn't been done yet, or has been only done a couple times and do it better maybe like that quiet was it quiet place yeah and and it was really place. like it was good you know what I mean it was quiet and the whole the whole thing was like negative space kind of reminded me of like that Vin Diesel movie Pitch Black but with sound they say just reminded like, you of Vin Diesel yeah yeah Vin Diesel it reminds <laughs> me of horror movies yeah. it's the voice it is a voice you know um, but other than that pretty much anything I mean I'll like sit around and do stuff and just run horror movies in the background half the night so um yeah, <laughs> they're pretty much all good. <laughs> David, what's your favorite horror movie? Actually, believe it or not, I don't really watch a lot of horror. <laughs> David, you are out of the band. <laughs> <laughs> David likes rom coms. <laughs> no, I do not watch rom coms. What either. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and hell, for video games, hell, I'm actually still currently playing Borderlands. I love Borderlands. That little robot guy. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Clinkety clank, fuckface, whatever he's called. I don't know. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on Borderlands, but yeah. I do have a PS4 though too. So it's nice. Cool. Yeah, I'm playing the South Park game. And Me too. The new of, one though. The fractured Atari game. I love my Super Nintendo. Love it. Classic. Oh yeah. Yep. The uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre for I've the been, Atari, for Atari is not as good as you'd want. Uh, it. No, even I've though been, you play the, as Leatherface. I've been collecting those little mini arcade games that you can get at Walmart for like 20 bucks. That has, each one has like a classic little arcade game on it, like Pac-Man or Qbert or whatever. Nice. Do they have a Congo Just Bongo? No. Oh, they should. Oh, we, uh, we, play, uh, we play the Tetris theme occasionally. That shows, yeah, live. Yeah. We play the Tetris theme. Dude, have you ever played that game Splatterhouse? Oh, totally. Yeah. Totally. You mean what? the original one or the new one? Yeah, the original one, man. I haven't played the new oh, one yeah. yet. Oh, yeah. Splatterhouse. Yeah. The one on Genesis, right? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. It, uh, well, no, I guess it was Did on that, too, Master but. System one? I remember it on uh, TurboGrafx 16, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was a TurboGrafx version. <laughs> Absolutely. Turbo yeah. I just, I just dated what? myself. Yeah, I'm fucking old, dude. But, yeah. <laughs> Beat him up, just really violent. Dude, you know, that, sh saw, that shit was fucking nuts. Nice. Like dudes with more blood. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I think yeah, there was there was one. That one. Yeah, the I actually don't. I'm the like, I'm like, what the fuck is this bad dude? Wait, the I'm like, is this just kidnapped by ninjas? I'm like, is this just like a way to like rip off Double Dragon without calling it, it Double Dragon? It like, probably was. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there like a level on that where you were inside of a fucking uh, uterus or something, and there was like little fucking fetuses coming at you? And you're hitting oh, them with a fucking two by four. Yeah. That sounds like the the, what the, 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 the the demon stomach or whatever. Yeah. Oh, super ghouls and ghosts. Super ghouls and ghosts. That sounds. I was at, yeah. Yeah, I love super ghouls and ghosts. Yeah, super ghouls and ghosts was fucking badass too, man. That that game was fucking evil as fuck, dude. Yeah, and then you get to the like, end and it's like, fuck you, play it again on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go get the bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> it's bullshit. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I won. I don't care. I actually. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually got good enough at that fucking game where I could actually play it all the way through and then go back through and play it again and win. And wow. I've tried yeah, right. when I was a kid, I that though. But like, voice, but it's just such a freaking drag, man. Yeah, it's forever. I've come close. I recently I, I beat 
all the metal slugs back to back to back to back in the same sitting, and it was like, you know, it's some adult diaper material right there. <laughs> Dude, I, I recently downloaded it uh, on the PlayStation or uh, fucking or no, it was on the on the Wii U to uh, show the kid show my kids that game and. Nice. I tried to play it and I can't fucking I can't fucking do it, man. Like anymore, like I, like it's it's just I'm like, how the fuck did I fucking like, beat this when I was right? a kid? Like I used I used to be really good at Primal Rage on Super Nintendo and now I fucking suck at it. It's why are the monkey why, like why why are like the the big primates why are they so hard to play as but they're so hard to play against? Have you tried being a primate? I don't think I have a choice, really. <laughs> All right, I got a good uh, question for you guys from the chat room. Uh, Vicky Grandy wants to know who would you love to play a show with if you could, if you could play with anybody. Ooh, anybody? Anybody? Oh, that's a tough question. Well, off the top of my head, uh, there's this band I just saw the other day, Will Wood and the Tapeworms from New Jersey. And they do this like spooky cabaret thing, with, like a little bit of Cuban music, and uh, they were goddamn nuts. I really would love to play with them. They're like right up our alley. Um, wacky, not one genre at all. <laughs> Dude, I would, I would love to play with Dog Fashion Disco. That would be like, balls. I would, I would love to play with Dog them. Fashion Disco. There, we actually covered a song by Polka Dot Cadaver, which is the guy's other project, and we got mistakenly credited as writing it. We're like, oh, no, not us. Whoops, tugging the collar. No, we did not write that song. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that, I, I guess that could be used as good publicity, you know. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> sort of. I don't think, I don't think I, I, if you're listening, Polka Dot Cadaver, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would just like to play with anyone who draws more than, a, you know, 50 people. <laughs> anyone? Anybody. That's, really? a, that's a wet dream. That's like, <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? I'll play with Maroon 5. That would be a wild I, show. I, I will play with anybody as long as there's some chicken wire in front of us. Man, that's what a chick chick chicken, chicken wire. Yeah, chicken okay. wire. Yeah, sounds good. Maroon but, 5. What, did you guys like the uh, the Super Bowl fucking uh, halftime show? That was a fucking travesty. <laughs> I haven't actually seen it yet, so but but I've seen everybody's fucking responses, and I'm just like, I, I you know what, I don't know. On multiple occasions, I was like, wow, this guy is playing for a good zillion people right now, and he could, he literally looks like he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't. He's probably strung <laughs> out. <laughs> he really doesn't. I don't think. He... <laughs> fucking Adam Levine, man. What the fuck. <laughs> Those fucking tattoos, though, man. What the fuck is up with those tattoos, dude? <laughs> I, I wish I had an answer for you, sir. <laughs> but alas, I do not. I mean, everybody it posts... inspired me. I'm going to get Adam tattooed across my stomach. <laughs> everybody posts the pictures of the fucking... Uh, from the show, you know, and you see him and you think, you know, he looks like a fucking ex-member of Guns N' Roses or something, but... <laughs> It, it's not, you know. <laughs> it's just not. <laughs> oh man, I could swear that was the guy they got after Matt Sorrow. Man. I swear. I always thought it looked like Dude, the guy was... who they got after Matt Sorrow was black. I always thought it looked like he was trying to make love to the camera whenever he looks at the camera. That he always made me uncomfortable. <laughs> whenever he yeah. looks at the camera, I'm like, stop looking at me that way, Adam. <laughs> All right, so uh, well, let me ask you guys: how, how did you guys get hooked up with uh, fucking uh, uh, Otto? Oh, uh, well, we played a show with his band Dust Prophet recently at the Chaskeen in Manchester. Um, I we played a show with their drummer in his old band Deadfall. What was it? Years ago now, right? Like five years ago. Five yeah. years ago, something like that. Um, <laughs> And so, you know, we kind of, like, run in the same basic circle um, to some extent, but never really bumped into each other. And then, um, well, shit, it was... Uh, Chaskeen. Well, yeah, but who, it was Scrimmy, right? It was, January, it was January 3rd. You 
Arsenal. We played January 3rd at the, in Manchester. Grimmy. Had a, had a show going there. I had been talking to somebody about wanting to play that spot, and um, we got tossed on that bill with them. Dust Profit ended up joining it, and uh, it was a good time. Yeah, they're um, great. Yeah, they're they're good guys and, and great and good girls and all that other stuff. Um, yeah, and they're theys and hymns. They're theys and hymns. Hymns and she's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, we don't... Yeah. We've only played with them once. Definitely play with them again. But, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, they dig us. We <laughs> dig them. So, you There's know. a lot of digging. A lot of digging. It was, dig digging. At, it was dig Things at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, another question from the chat. Vicky Grandy wants to know, do you guys like bubble baths? Bubble baths? Who doesn't like a bubble bath? I like bubble baths. I, I always pretended I was the chick from Ghostbusters, the Does naked really chick in the end. Baths? Yeah, bubble baths. How do you know we're not in a bubble bath right now? Is yeah, there like a band like... called Bubble Baths or something? It could be. It's like, is that like really the question? Like, <laughs> it's like a, it's a, uh, like a <laughs> chiptune band, right? Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> bubble baths, keep that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs> well... <laughs> As far as uh, substances, man, like uh, besides smoking crack, is there anything else you guys like to do? Like fucking drink booze, smoke weed, anything like that? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to elaborate. <laughs> but why? <laughs> We used to drink a lot more in the beginning. Like we did. There was a lot of drinking. Yeah, the first couple years that we were, we were together, like we just drank, fucking, just co- almost like, dude, there was a lot of drinking. That's all. Yeah. That's all you need. Oh, drink- can we tell that other drinking story? What other drinking story? <laughs> Never mind. What? Oh, when I drank Matt's pee. Yeah. No. Yes, please okay, tell, tell us about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so um, there was a bottle of tequila in the basement, and I was thinking to myself, well, this tequila looks funny. It could be pee. I'm going to take a chance. <laughs> and so I had some. It was pee. That's really all there is to it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not much God. of a story. Who's Matt's too lazy to go use his bathroom. <laughs> Who's, whose pee was it? <laughs> he's, he's so engrossed in the work that he does that he has no time. <laughs> Break his focus for such trivial concerns such as bodily waste excretion. It's a waste of time. Yeah, emphasis on waste. So waste. Yes, exactly. Well, I, I've heard that pee is actually not fucking uh, harmful to you. Like, uh, apparently, it's not. No. I, I tell you, I felt like I could run a marathon afterwards. <laughs> That's I'm a healthy dude. I am, yes. If I had the hip, it'd be different. <laughs> but then she tried to run a marathon and, she <laughs> and I failed. So I drank more pee and then I was fine. Yeah, I guess you can exist on it. You can. I don't want to exist that way, but I suppose it's possible. There are probably places to buy it. I'm sure. <laughs> Pre bottled. It's a good vintage. Black Market Piss. Now that's a band name. Black Market, Market Piss. Piss. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. Uh, another question from the chat. Oni Monk wants to know, do you guys take the doghouse base on the road? The doghouse base? Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. The doghouse base. Does it, the did, bottom of the oh, doghouse base. Do, maybe he means the stand-up base? Yeah. He must mean the stand-up base. If that's the case, then yes. Nice. Otherwise, I don't know what he's talking about, the doghouse. There, I mean, there may be videos on YouTube of me using the stand-up bass, probably, possibly, uh, for definitely. sure. Definitely, there's a Metroid from KMF. Yeah, so if he wants to see that being you being used live, he can just look up Lobotomobile on YouTube, and uh, there'll be live videos there. No <clears> doubt. <throat> Absolutely. That's badass. Yeah, he definitely takes up space. Yes. Subscribe and stuff. So you guys have a stand-up bass. What's what's that like? Fucking taking that out on the road. Do you do that often? It takes or? a lot of fucking space. Well, <laughs> I, I drive a Subaru Forester, and um, it takes up like a good portion of my entire back. Like on Jesus. shows where we take it, I can pretty much only take my stuff <laughs> and nothing else. <laughs> Maybe little bits of other stuff, but on days where, like, let's say it's a very short set and we don't work in the stand-up 
there's a lot more room in my car and I could even like take like the guitar cab and other yeah. stuff. Sure. So yeah, it, it takes up a good amount of space, but it's not that big of a deal. It's 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 of the half size. If anybody knows anything about that stuff, it's not really the huge huge one, like the giant. You know, the one that you see like it looks pretty really big. Old. It looks pretty. It he, pretty he posted big. a picture of it just now in the chat room, and it's a, you guys are all standing it around is, it. Yeah, it is big, but I do need to extend the peg out like a good foot at least when i use it and whereas like the three quarter or the the full size you don't even barely need to use the peg so it's big but it's also manageable so it's like your I, hair yes <laughs> yes exactly just like my hair but that's why i chose the half the half size stand-up case we also we show up and we're just a fucking like gypsy troop because we just have all these props as well so we show up and people are like, oh my god. Yeah, and, and an old TV. Like, we bring a TV to our shows and uh, and uh, a screen that we made and we project images on the screen and we play videos on the old TV. And, what what uh, kind of videos do you guys all, play? It's well, all movies, videos. depends. <laughs> and, like, other stuff. Like, yeah. I'm working on one that has a lot of different stuff in it, like, stock footage and like nature footage and all kinds of just I kind of want to like envelop people in the shit that's in the peripherals of what they might experience in media just on I don't know any given Sunday <laughs> just know. on Sundays, just on Sundays. <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's often it, it, sometimes it's pretty violent uh, one time we had a projected at the Latches theater like entirely behind us and there's this naked guy cutting up a body in a yeah. tub for like four minutes and it's really uncomfortable and I'm like, oh my god, Matt. <laughs> nice. He mostly edits the videos. I've edited a few. <laughs> Speaking of uh, naked bodies, Vicky Grandy wants to know, what's your favorite food to barbecue? Food to barbecue? <laughs> oh, speaking of naked bodies. This is a sploosh um, question. This is a, a sploosh question. Um... I don't Let know why. See. <laughs> Being a proper cannibal fetishist, I must say that some pork-related yeah, item, I would, ribs, I would say. Ribs. Ribs are good, ribs are good yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with burgers, probably. Pineapple's good on a yeah. grill. But mm-hmm. cheeseburgers. Pork People pork who don't pork eat pork burgers pork. with cheese are just... I don't know what's wrong with them, but there's something We lost, wrong. like, 20 fans now because yeah. of that statement. <laughs> Cheeseless ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging these questions, I must say. These are great. Hell yeah, these guys Thank are you, fucking everyone crazy. In the chat and hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so what's coming up next for you guys? Like, what, what kind of plans do you guys have? You... We actually been really, really busy lately. We actually have a show in one week, and we're releasing an album the same day. And we're going to play the entire album. An yep. EP, actually. Yeah, so we're playing at the 13th floor in Florence, Mass. And I think it's in Florence. Um, on the 15th. And It's actually, yes, yeah, Florence, it's Florence. With Left Hand Backwards, Marianne Toilet in the Runs, and Johnny Earthquake. Yep, and we're going to play the whole Pretty uh, Little Innards Pretty Little innards, front to back. Did um, you just... And some other shit, probably, at the end. Um, so we're going to do that, releasing the album on the same day. Um, and uh, what else? We have a whole bunch of other... Another uh, show, nights. March 2nd, Jewel. Oh, Jewel Nightclub in Manchester. Yeah. We're playing another show there. Um, we've got another EP that we're in the process of. It's already all recorded. and We're just kind of like putting it together. So that'll be another one of those. Yeah, but we that's went, like, probably not for like six months. Yeah, another least. few months here. Yeah. We went like you know five years with no albums, and then we're just re- releasing like album, yeah, album, we album. Recorded stuff, and now we're just gonna dump a whole shitload of it. <laughs> um, we've got uh, we remod remodded our Bandcamp page, so that's got um, the Sexist Chainsaw Massacre is up on there. Uh, people can download that. Uh, we've kind of updated our merch. Uh, and there'll be more merch coming soon. Um, yeah, so we're doing bunches of stuff writing new stuff did you guys say you're playing a show with somebody called Marianne Toilet and the fucking runs oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah they're great they're awesome everybody should go and check them out Marianne Toilet 
toilet. We actually have two shows with them. We're basically up. on tour with them. Yeah, it's like this kind of loose ass sort of like loose ass. Yeah, loose ass. <laughs> oh, that is fucking awesome, man! I have to check that out. I have Pun to check intended. that out. I totally have Definitely to check that out. Oh yeah, they're 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 awesome. We're gonna try and do more live streaming too, but like you know, um, obviously it depends. Like recently we played a show where we quote unquote what we like to call deadlined where they put us up last even though we weren't the main act and so um there was like nobody there and i wish we'd live streamed it and so in situations like that we're gonna live stream more so hopefully at least reach some people when we play these these uh shows with nobody there <laughs> yeah it happens sometimes and you just you just power on through and maintain your enthusiasm but anyway yeah keep your my eyes open for more live streaming hopefully yeah, there's a, did Spanky's interview come out yet yes oh yeah. it's out yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so yeah just look on YouTube for Lobotomobile because there's stuff like we should put, we should put that on the Lobotomobile channel oh definitely too. but anyway I mean a lot, if, if you type in the band name in any anywhere it like we're pretty much the first thing that comes yeah, there's up. There's this like video called the Lobotomobile that um, somebody made. It's like a song and dance, and uh, it's it's pretty cool. Watch that too. It's not us, yeah. but watch that too. Yeah. It's pretty um, cool. <laughs> that might be the only thing uh, like otherwise other than us. Man, what was that story recently about that dude that uh, did like a he he ran like a fake fucking campaign on his band and like made it seem like it was like they were they were signed and oh they yeah. got they You're got they about, got put on this um, festival and they went over to Europe and then they got there and then there was nobody yeah. there because they didn't the actually have any real it. fans so it was all fucking just like <laughs> But it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. But, and now they're playing another one, and because they got all the publicity, yeah, from not yeah. being a real band, now there'll actually be people there. Now they're big. <laughs> now they're big. They're. Like... <laughs> yeah, I remember you. You were the fake band. I'll go see you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Counts for a lot, man. Dude, yeah. when I saw that it's at like... first, I, I thought, "What the fuck are they doing, man?" But then I thought, you know what? This is actually kind of genius. Like. It makes sense uh, to fucking pretty, take advantage you know? of the. It definitely is. <laughs> like, like, why I mean, not? You know, go for it, man. Fucking. But then, it, then when I listened to it, I was like, oh, this is just fucking terrible. Oh, have you man. heard I, it? I can't is get it, into it. Is it any good? No, I, I couldn't get no. into it. I, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't really find it very entertaining. No. <laughs> but but the brother of the guy, Scott Eames, he has a band which is actually really good. And he actually fucking does the work and everything, and he's out there touring and stuff and doing, doing cool. shit. So, like in a way, it did fucking. Sp I thought that it kind of spun off and and gave him a little bit of publicity, but maybe not so good. That's cause, cool. You know, he, he's probably getting tired of people interviewing him and asking him about his brother. For that, doing yeah, that. I hear that. It's like you living know. in the shadow of someone who was never really there. Right, anyway. right. When, when he's when he's doing all the work and that guy's fucking just <laughs> just say that with a frown. <laughs> Motherfuckers. All right. Uh, another question from the chat. Vicky wants to know what do you guys like, smokies or sausage? <laughs> what? Smokies or sausage? I'd say sausage. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of sausage. What you mean, like those little smoky things? Yeah. yeah what kind of sausage? Like breakfast sausage or Italian sausage? I, I don't know. She didn't specify. <laughs> I'm all about. I'll take breakfast sausage. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not into the Italian sausage. Uh, we all like the sausage. We all love the sausage. <laughs> I like pretty we're, much we're any kind like of that. sausage myself. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that didn't sound good. As, as long as it. <laughs> As long as it's hot, you know, like, a, put, throw some fucking red peppers in the motherfucker. As long as it's a hot sausage. Yeah, there you hot go. Sausage. Hot sausage. Hot sausage, No one man. likes a cold yeah. sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have uh, it, man. Oh, next Philly X, too. Uh, they do. They do, in fact. <laughs> Another question from the chat. Oni Monk wants to know, if you were all stranded in the Andes after a plane wreck, which one of you would survive? David's the biggest of us, technically. Yeah. I'm uh, the most willing to eat you two. <laughs> yeah. 
But you have the most climbing experience. Yeah. I just have the most climbing Matt experience. has the most ice hiking experience out of all of us. Yeah. Um, um so. I definitely would eat you both, though. <laughs> yeah, so just... I would probably eat both of you. Okay. You know? I mean, I would probably <laughs> be more willing to go without for longer. I may have to uh. bite you off. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But I'll, I'll be polite and wait till you guys die. I'm going to go with Laura. <laughs> I'm going with Laura because I think she'll just eat us in our sleep. Yeah, yeah, you won't yeah, but wait. I don't sleep. You know that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, look over there. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Stranded in the Andes. <laughs> Andy. What about the Donner Party? Have you guys ever uh, looked into that shit? Yeah, That's what that a little bit. Think about. The Donner Party. The Donner Party. Yeah, good old, good old survival cannibalism. I like my cannibalism recreational. Uh, <laughs> Re- retro can <laughs> they say <laughs> I actually used to be really into cannibalism I mean like I've done tons of research it was going to be my senior thesis in college actually but I never got around to that <laughs> have you guys ever listened to the uh, last podcast on the left I actually have yeah. oh, listened my... to them yeah. I, I only listened to a few there's like they're pretty good. I like them. They did a special on the Donner Party, and it was fucking insane, man. Like they went in, <laughs> they went in deep on that shit. It was good. So deep, yeah. That's yeah. No, they're they're pretty thorough. I was they're like, what thorough. the fuck, man? People actually did this shit. Oh man, yeah, yeah. yeah you got to survive. You do what you got to do, man. <laughs> have, well, have you have you seen uh, have you seen Cannibal the Musical? No, <laughs> Cannibal the it's Musical. It's by the South Park guys. It's the first movie they ever did when they were like nineteen. Yeah, it's pretty freaking funny. I'll have to check that out. Uh, Cameron Landers in the chat room wants me to ask you guys if you like Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're David's spirit animal. Like yes. literally, literally right before right before we started practicing before this show, I was literally doing both. An entire conversation. Yeah, he just them, do, so. do it right now. Do it right yeah. now. Do it. For, do it. Do it oh for God. Cameron. All right. What's his name? Uh. <laughs> hey, baby. You want to like stroke my beard? Yeah. 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 Cool. There you go. Uh, there it is, Cameron. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> that was so good, dude. That sounded so fucking real, dude. Holy he's, shit. He's like a bird of mimicry, David is. <laughs> that was fucking great, man. So, uh, so... <laughs> So Lobotomobile, like your songs, fucking... Uh, tell us about your songs. Like, what kind of... Um, themes and stuff go behind these uh the lyrics and stuff like what where do you uh what are these songs this is a laura question oh yeah so i i tend to write songs about things i'm morbidly enthusiastic about um like so for example cannibalism i wrote a song about issei sagawa the japanese man who ate uh, the dutch woman and he's free now i thought that was an odd story or um, the like weird stuff from history. Or uh, I wrote a song about Johnny the Half Boy, who was a side- Johnny, Eck. Johnny Eck, who was a sideshow performer that I'm really inspired by. Uh, who had sacral agenesis, so basically he was half a man, but he was so optimistic about life and so happy and everything that I just found him really inspiring. Or like, um, oh geez, video games. Video Metroid. games. Song about Metroid. Metroid. Um, yep. Sort of. Interestingly, <laughs> interestingly enough, I wrote uh, Melee Weapon after playing Silent Hill Origins because you can carry like 10 pool cues and like I'm like all right how much shit can I carry and what can I carry and a lot of the stuff I name in Melee Weapon is stuff that you use in Silent Hill Origins weird little fun fact there (laughs) and so yeah like video games horror movies weird stuff from history we wrote a song in uh, NADSAT which is the language they speak in a clockwork orange like, I'm a Moladoid and Ad Set and a Poogie Brastoop, Nick, I don't rest with a I'm a Love, Love, and Mount Chick, you know, like that kind of stuff. Holy shit. <laughs> that was... I wrote that at work. I was like, okay, I got a Clockwork Orange, which had a dictionary in the back, and I'm like, I'm going to fucking write an Ad Set song. And the rest is not history. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. 
And then there's yeah. the occasional compost that comes along. Oh, and then compost. Like, it was just it was super, super serious. Because I was going through kind of a rough relationship issue at the time. And I'm like, ah, I'm going to write a song about a girl who gets murdered. And she's wishes her boyfriend was a necrophiliac. So we'd come visit her. It's sort of like that kind of stuff. I'm a weird person. And I tend to channel that in uh, the, the shit that I do. Otherwise, I'd probably end up in the news having done something awful. That's fucking awesome. That's yeah. awesome that you refer to that as compost. <laughs> Thank you. <I> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is, that is perfect. Get right down to it. <laughs> it's a good song. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, it's on... Uh, oh, it's on Sexist Chainsaw Massacre. Yep. Yep, absolutely. So, yeah, uh, streams on Bandcamp right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Other stuff. Other stuff. Kidnapping. <laughs> well, let me look at the um, uh, and then I wrote Bloody Bunnies which is a Broadway core song it was inspired by Broadway but it's really it, it's it's kind of about all the shit that, that people will go through just to have sex but it's all this like metaphors about rabbits and blood and sex crimes and stuff but it's all happy and dippy and Broadway style it's rabbits more than sex crimes <laughs> I, 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 would, I would be hard pressed to think of something like that, I'm, I'm, I'm actually like looking over at our song list now to be, and then like I'm just squinting. Yeah. Oh, and we wrote a song about Elizabeth of Bathory, girly girl. Um, yeah, it's percentages. Yeah. The we, Andrews sisters. Oh yeah, and and I, I wrote a song about the most evil thing I can think of, um, <laughs> um, in the style of the Andrews sisters, sort of. I don't even really feel comfortable explaining it. it it's so evil. Oh, um, come on. Okay. It's uh, like the steps that a sexual sadist uses to incorporate a woman into his criminal behavior. Because I was really, I'm really interested in criminal psychology and I have this book about that sort of thing. And I was like, well, okay, well, what if I wrote a happy Andrew sister style song, but about the most evil thing I could think of? And I don't know, it came out came out pretty fun to play and at the end of the day also on the sexist also, chainsaw five simple steps five actually simple steps, the, yep. is the first this is the lead off song yes the proper song the first proper song on the album yes Hello? let's see um wrote a song about the tingler yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is a uh, you know William Castle B movie with you know um, Vincent Price yeah it was originally conceived as this thing with like a vibrator yeah we, we were gonna have a vibrator involved somehow yeah. and then like it didn't eventually work out but we we, we have we have grandiose to plans with, what, like smuggling vibrators into people into people into people's persons, yeah not into people <laughs> just smuggle a vibrator <laughs> and that would be a trend yeah it would yeah. yes yes indeed <laughs> The name Sexist Chainsaw Massacre is so fucking perfect too, man. I love that. <laughs> Thanks. And um, I think I think it was one of those things that because we like a lot of just wordplay, mm -hmm. um, and like for example, we almost named this next album Priestiality, but we, but we <laughs> did, or or Jepetophile, which was another one. <laughs> So the Texas Chainsaw Massacre just kind of came up as a joke, and then it stuck, and it seemed thematically appropriate. Oh, it totally works. Totally works. <laughs> yeah, we get to pay homage to the original, so you know. Oh yeah, the opening episode. prologue is uh, a reference to the you know the beginning of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I, I just kind of made up this. No, I didn't make it up. It's true story. It is a true story. It's a true story. <laughs> <laughs> Another question from the chat room. Uh, Vicky wants to know: Do you guys watch Metalocalypse? I fucking Definitely. love the way David reacted to Beavis and Butthead. That's I've been more quietly <laughs> reacting, but I fucking love that show. She also wants to talking know... about it earlier today when they double booked, and I just I used to be able to play songs from that too, like the Go Into the Wall. Yeah, I, uh, I I'm actually a huge geek about that show. So yes, who's, I do. Who, who's your favorite character in that mo in that show? It's it's hard to say, but I've got to love Toki. I think he's the most damaged out of everyone in that entire... The great character development, honestly. Like, really solid character development. <laughs> really, my, you really feel for these guys. My favorite's that fucking clown, man. Roxo! Yeah, hey, dude, Dr. Roxo, man. Fucking... That's your kill kid. Hey, Mr. Policeman! Uh-oh! That is David Lee fucking Roth, dude. Fucking it through is. and through, man. It has to be. When he's when he's like in his underwear eating the burger, yeah, like, it's <laughs> so perfect. 
used to do a lot of cocaine. How do you eat your burgers? How do I eat my burgers? Similarly. In your underwear. In my underwear, <laughs> of course. In my overwear. Like wrapped in them. Yes, it's tasty. It's like a burrito. <laughs> you have to chew hard. A booty rito. Booty rito. <laughs> yes. See, we get the wordplay again. It's just, you know, <laughs> can't help ourselves. All right, so I'm about out of questions. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to let the people know? Fucking. But where can they go to find uh, some more shit about Lobotomobile? Uh, no. Um, so, you know, find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. We do. We're part of an evil corporation. Yeah. Yeah, Lobotomobile. Yeah. Somewhere too. Yeah, like we're we're like the K Bear Pop of New Hampshire. Definitely. New album, Pretty yeah. Little Leonard's yeah, dropping. Just album. find us. Just find us. We're around. We're friendly. We won't bite you hard. All right. Well, before I let you guys go, I gotta get you to make a station tag. All right. Cool. All right. Whenever you're ready, say something like, "This is Lobotomobile, and you're listening to Metal Devastation Radio." Okay. Let's okay. let's count down. One, two, three. This, this is, is Lobotomobile, and, and you're, you're listening, listening to Metal Devastation, Devastation Radio. <laughs> fuck yeah perfect man alright well I thank you guys for taking the time man fucking that was a cool fucking thank interview you. Nah, thank you Zach this was a very fun interview oh yeah definitely hell yeah I'm gonna blast some more Lobotomobile for these motherfuckers so they can go crazy alright sweet <laughs> yeah. take care alright we'll talk to you later later man I can't say take care that is my genuine <laughs> goodbye <laughs> I do mean it. Hey, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say, man. See? See? Think. Take care. Take care, man. Aww, take care. Enjoy, enjoy everything. She's such a do. sweetheart. I try. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Fucking Lobotomobile live on the Zach Moonshine Show with Metal Devastation Motherfucking Radio. Crank it up loud as a fuck, like I said earlier. Put your speakers in your fucking windows. Put them in your front lawns. Put them in your fucking neighbor's fucking window. In their fucking front fucking door. And fucking blast this shit. Loud as a fuck.